okay dear students uh, let us see what is there in this question a net force f x on an object of mass m that is initially at rest very very important the object moves in a straight line the variation of f with the distance s is shown okay fine so the force is a variable force so uh, fine we can't use the formulas for the work directly we have to do some innovative thing here let us see what is the speed of the object at the distance s1 okay so we need to find the speed okay dear students so what are we going to do in this question is we will find the work done on the body by the force and uh, that work done would be equal to the change in the kinetic energy of the body we know that if the if there is no friction if there are no dissipative forces if it is a conservative field uh, there is this principle that there is the theorem work energy theorem you might be knowing so work is equal to and i would be very specific here work done by field force so the force that we are talking about like let us say gravity or the work done by a force which is already there so the work done by field force is equal to the positive change in kinetic energy and it is equal to the negative change in the potential energy so in this case because the body is moving in a straight line so we will not consider the changes in the potential energy but we consider the change in the kinetic energy so the work done so now how to find the work done we know that work done is can be found by finding the area of f and s curve so this area we have to find and this area will be equal to the work done by the force so what is this area this is a triangle so i can say that area will be half into height into base half into f1 s1 now this will be equal to change in kinetic energy so finally our kinetic energy is this and initially because the body was at rest the kinetic energy initial is equal to zero so i have substituted that value so from here we can find v so this two gets cancelled with this so v square is equal to f1 s1 divided by m and so v is equal to b is the answer so v is equal to f1 s1 divided by m square root so b is the answer that we are getting this theorem is known as work energy theorem it's very important okay dear students so this is professor varun for you all the best